Hello and welcome to the Nashville Daily Podcast. I'm Stuart Deming. And I'm Greg the Google Guy. Recently, Greg compiled a list of the top search results according to Google in the Nashville area. And we're talking about that today. We're going to talk about that and more on the Nashville Daily Podcast. Did you have a great Christmas? Because I certainly did. I did. Oh, hold on. You have a banner? When did you get a banner, Greg? I get my own banner? Yeah, you have your own banner. Man, that was a goal in my <laughs> at, life. And at Google. <laughs> yeah, man, it really fits. Yeah. Uh, so recently you compiled a list of the top trending search results in the Nashville area. But first, before we get to that, this episode's brought to you by thinkbrad.com. And if you want to buy some real estate here in the Middle Tennessee area, contact him, 615-856-3270. Uh, Greg, he's doing a pretty cool giveaway right now. Could you tell me what that is? Yeah, man. Um, throughout the winter months, Brad Reynolds is going to be covering one lucky person's a lot of their closing costs. Wow. Um, they just have to subscribe to the Think Brad at Think Brad YouTube channel, uh, the Explore.Nash Nashville Daily YouTube channels. Two of those uh, channels, yes. Yeah, both of them separately. Yeah, separate channels. We can have Aaron pop them up on the screen, I think. Yeah, I think we can. Uh, Aaron's in the control room controlling everything right now. Uh, but yeah, explore.nash, that's a YouTube channel, and Nashville Daily Podcast, that's a separate YouTube channel. And then also, what's the other thing? Uh, he needs to th th he needs to get texts from people. Yep, and that number is uh, 615. Yep. 856-3270. That's it. All right, so recently, Greg, you compiled the top search results in Nashville, and you, you made this all look all nice and, and, and nice. So I'm, we're going to show my screen real quick just so we can see the results that you can, compiled. Yes. Uh, so top trending in the Nashville, Tennessee area. And then we scroll down. The Nashville, Tennessee area search for country more than any other music genre in 2022. Surprising. All right, so the way that you worded this, Greg, it's kind of confusion and, uh, confusing, and then it says more than any other music genre in 2022. It should have probably been switched around. But what does this search result look like, Greg? Well, if you take a look over here, uh, I find it not surprising but interesting. When you Google country or country music, uh, you see an ad for Amazon.com at the very top. Well, they are paying a lot of money for that. They are. The they're top beating out I, uh Apple Music and, and Spotify, Spotify. Yep. They're, they're paying a ton of money for that. And then who's the, it was it music videos? What's the first music video popping up? Yeah, man, there's uh, the top music videos or a uh, new country music playlist for this year for okay. 2022, including Brett Young and Blake Shelton. And then you've got classic country songs, which is, you know, more my style. Yeah. Um, and then last year's country music playlist in 2021. And over to the right, you know, obviously, um, it kind of explains what the, the country music genre is. Okay. Um, and then references some some of the more well-known country artists in the history of uh, so you country have, uh, music. George Strait, Tim McGraw, yep. uh, you have Johnny Cash, and Garth Brooks. I think that's a good selection of country artists. So now let's go back to the trending search results. Uh, this one is interesting, so we're going to scroll down here. The Great-Eared Nightjar was the Nashville's area's top trending animal. And I have no idea what this is. And uh, so I had to look it up. And, Greg, I think you were you were looking up uh, some owls or something. And you're like, is this an owl? And we have no idea. So we're going to look that up right now. I, w I wonder if this uh, search result is going towards more of this animal is being at the zoo because this is an animal that may not be in the wild uh, that's here in Middle Tennessee. So what are you seeing, Greg? All I know is that owls are the best, Stuart. Oh. You're looking up owls right now. I am. Yeah. It's my favorite oh, animal. Oh, they're, they're pretty cool. Um, so what's your favorite owl? Is it the horn owl or is it? Every single one of them. The snowy owl, the, the barn owl, man, the great horned owl. They're just brilliant, majestic creatures. They are. Okay. So now let's look up the great eared night jar, uh, which great is a eared night jar. There it is. Looky there. All right. So we're going to look that sucker up right now. Is it a beautiful bird? Oh, wow. 
It's a pretty bird. Today's episode of Nashville Daily is in part brought to you by Bowtie Barber Club. Visit them at bowtiebarberclub.com to book your haircut, your beard trim, your nose wax, your ears wax, wax, and so much more. They also serve some coffee before you can get your haircut. I'm going to read a Google review because Greg is here with me. Uh, I'm just going to read the, the first sentence. We traveled to Nashville from out of town. Jerry desperately needed a shave and haircut. Uh, the manager, Ruth Ann, was amazing, professional, friendly, and welcoming. Uh, Travis was Jerry's barber. He did a great job. Jerry was happy. I was happier. A happy wife, happy life. Am I correct? Travis is the best. A true gentleman's barbershop. Highly recommend. That's a great review. That's a five-star review uh, from Google. So, Greg, uh, bowtiebarberclub.com is the website, and you could get your haircut or your beard trim. All right, so, Greg, what does that video look like? Uh, do you have it pulled up? I do. Let's take a look at the uh, fluffy little dragon that it, is it actually a bird. It does look like a dragon. So this is the great-eared night jar. Just play the video re real quick and see jars what happens. Like they're straight out of a fantasy movie, and lucky it looks us, like a dragon. Very real. That's amazing. In a lot of our favorite fantasy movies, okay, that's plenty. All right, let's go, let's go back to the trending search results for 2022 for the Nashville area. Uh, the next thing that's going to pop up is the Nashville, Tennessee area was one of only five places with Asian restaurants as the top trending near me search along with Alexandria, L.A., uh, Chico, uh, California, Green Bay, Wisconsin, and Riley, Durham, N Durham North Carolina. So uh, there has been a rise of Asian restaurants here in the city of Nashville over the last year. Some of my favorites include uh, Eastside Bon Mi. Uh, there's a great Chinese buffet that does a hibachi over in West Nashville. What are a few of your favorite Asian restaurants here in town, Greg? Well, my favorite has been my favorite for probably 10 years now, and it's over off of East Thompson Lane and Murfreesboro Pike, kind of tucked away in a shopping center over there. Okay. It's called... And forgive me for the pronunciation, Vin Long. Okay. Uh, they have the best beef stew Ooh. I've ever, ever had in my life. It's phenomenal. It's completely authentic. Um, and I think it's cash only still that's to this awesome. day. So check it out if you can. It's amazing. You said that's off of Murfreesboro and Thompson Lane? Yeah, 1061 Murfreesboro Pike. All right. So back to the trending search results. The Nashville's area top trending recipe was Marry Me Chicken. And I have no idea what that is. And it was searched for the recipe I think it's over like a, five times more than last year. I'm pretty sure it's like a, a hillbilly chicken marsala, Stuart. What's a, show, can we show photos of chicken marsala? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll show the marry me chicken. Um, so this is the marry me chicken recipes right here. It looks like chicken with sun-dried tomatoes. And, and it looks like maybe like peppers or something. Yeah, and chicken marsala is very close. It's a wine sauce, right? Okay, so show show your chicken marsala. All right. Real quick. Okay, so that's the chicken marsala. Okay, so I wonder if there's any big differences. Maybe we have to have a cook-off, Greg, to see what which one is a better. Um, all right, we will head now back to the trending results. And this is now we're getting into the top 10 trending near me searches in Nashville, Tennessee. And who would have thought... Gas prices near me was its number one search result. That's right. Water parks near me. Uh, there's only two water parks in Nashville, so that's an interesting search Nashville result. Shores is awesome, by the way. I uh, have not been, so tell me about your experiences at Nashville Shores. Oh, man, like you can, uh, especially at the 4th of July, they shoot off fireworks, the fireworks over yeah. the Percy Priest uh, yep. Dam over there. Excuse my language. And, I mean, it's got like cabins you can rent, you know, you can stay all night there, but... It's a really cool water park and uh, something you should check out. All right. So number three, four top ten search results is Pilates near me. Number four is remote jobs near me. Uh, number five is diesel prices near me. Number six, there's a theme here, cheapest gas near me. Uh, one of the cheapest gas stations is Raceway off of Donaldson Pike in Nashville. And if you go out towards Lebanon, it's 25 cents cheaper. For example, the other day I paid two thirty-two a gallon out in Lebanon off of Highway 109, and in Nashville it was two fifty-five. So, Lebanon has the cheapest gas it looks like throughout Middle Tennessee. All right, number seven for top ten is food banks near me. Number eight is co uh, car shows near me. Number nine, Asian restaurant near me, and number ten, power outage near me. It hasn't affected me directly, but there's got to be a power outage near me somewhere. Yes. 
near me. All right, so that was the top 10 trending search results for Google. We talked about a few other things like Marry Me Chicken, which that's the first time I've ever heard of that. I'm looking forward to trying that recipe. Greg, do you have any insights for our listeners today on searching on Google? All I know is that Google is a beautiful thing. And, I mean, this kind of speaks for itself. You know, I really like the local year-end search. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's, a, it's a great function. Uh, so, Greg, you are joining me for a few more episodes this week. Tomorrow's episode, we're going to be talking about the Gaylord Opryland Resort and Convention Center and reading some of the top five-star reviews. Uh, it has a lot of reviews. It's one of the most reviewed things in Nashville, and I'm looking forward to that conversation. Here we go. Bye-bye. for listening to Nashville Daily. To learn more about today's episode, visit NashvilleDailyPodcast.com and to stay connected, head to our Discord and you can find the link at NashvilleDailyPodcast.com slash connect. Nashville Daily is now offering tours. If you'd like to take a tour of downtown Nashville, head to the link in the show notes or find out more details at NashvilleDailyPodcast.com. Nashville Daily Podcast is an Explore.Nash production, copyright 2022.